in good co uh, conditions. Yes, uh, weather is good and uh, I think I have to close our QSO now. I do have an appointment um, uh, quarter past eight, so I would like to go out a bit uh, uh, to have uh, some lunch. So I would like to leave you now, Paolo, and uh, find uh, in any case many thanks for the QSO and uh, have fun with mobile operations. I really enjoy it as well very often. Uh, Paolo, CT1, DHO, DL2, DMS. Okay, Marcus, uh, DL2 GMS, very good signal, uh, amazing propagation at this time of the day. And uh, glad you you're, have finished your, your antenna works there, and it works uh, very, very good. <laughs> signal is pretty strong down in South Portugal at this moment. And uh, yeah, I like, I like uh, mobile operation here. Uh, we can choose a hilltop where there is no QR Mexico. Uh, I don't have any kind of QRM. <laughs> so I can copy all the signals around on the band, my friend. It's very, very fun and very nice to operate on, uh, on the hilltop uh, mobile. And also QRP home build. Uh, really fun. I just built the, the kit myself. Uh, it's a Spanish kit, it's the Healer 20. I, I think you have heard about these uh, transceivers. Uh, they are fairly easy to assemble and uh, have get very good results, my friend. My, my, my best 73 to you, Marcus. I won't take you uh, more time, my friend. Uh, 73, I'm glad to uh, have this contact with Germany. Delta Lima 2, Golf Mike Sierra, CT1 EHO for the final, over. Seventy-three, Marcus. Uh, see you soon on the band. Seventy-three. Today I brought my Healer Twenty uh, to test in my new mobile antenna, which I just ordered uh, last week and uh, was delivered today. Uh, it's a Diamond HF two zero CL HF twenty CL, which is the center loaded series from Diamond. Let me show you the antenna, which is amazingly large for mobile operations, but performance really pays off. It's about uh, two, 2 meters long, in fact 2.10 meter long, and as you can see there, there's the, the center coil. And for the first uh, observations, it seems to perform really, really well. That's an amazing antenna. I have other antennas from Diamond, the um, the HF, uh, the HF twenty uh, FXW, which is a base loaded mobile lip antenna. And it's only about one and a half meter long, and it's a uh, it's a very nice antenna, and really does work well on my QRP setup. This afternoon I was able to run a, a couple of DX, and the propagation doesn't seem to be at its its best. So a lot of QSV on the band and. Uh, very low signal sometimes, but um, I was able to to get through with this setup. This is my Healer 20, which is a Spanish kit. It's based on a, a Spanish kit. It's home built. The panel I just uh, I just planned myself uh, using all. Uh, it's all uh, reused uh, materials. Like the uh, the panel came from a microwave. Uh, dummy cover from from an old transmission equipment microwave. The microphone is um, a fairly cheap uh, stage mic microphone bought at the Chinese warehouse. <laughs> and uh, 
That's only 4 watts output. The frequencies the transceiver is able to uh, function are between uh, 14 to 243 and 14 276 on the 20 meter band. It's about 33 kilohertz uh, bandwidth. So, and that is due to the VXO, which are, are used in employed in this transceiver. The antenna seems to have a lower noise level. The baseloaded one I have, it seems to get more more hash sometimes. This one is very quiet, very quiet, but the signals popping popping up very very strong. I don't have the scale, the correct scale on the on the S meter. I didn't want it to open the. Uh, let me lower down the volume. I didn't want it to uh, open the uh, small meter. I was afraid to broken it, so I just keep the the scale. But I just uh, calibrated the the meter, which is five, number five. It's equivalent to nine S nine. So if the pointer goes uh, further than the five. That will assume that is uh, plus plus ten twenty dB. So I I've made that calibration with a signal generator and uh, on the bench. So it's more or less accurate. It's it's uh, not precision, but it's okay. <laughs> a small uh, power meter here. Oh, sorry. Push the uh, zoom button here. And. Very, very uh, simple uh, station, mobile station, but um, does a lot of contacts and uh, it's it's very pleasant for me to operate a home-built equipment. <laughs> so I encourage you all to try once to assemble uh, some amateur transceiver kit, which is very, very fun. 73, so enjoy the video. Thank you.